What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on Olivier LeBlanc of the uh, St. John Sea Dogs, the 126. Uh, North American skater, according to Central Scouting. I like his game. I thought he was pretty good last year at the uh, U17s for Team Quebec, putting up about four points in six games. Really smooth skater. I like the way he moves the puck offensively. Um, and he, he's worth taking a flyer on, you know, in the fourth, fifth, sixth rounds. You know, because those guys, he wore, an a, he wore the ASG for St. John. The team struggled. I think had the team played better, um, you know, his draft stock would have been higher. But, you know, that's... You can go back and forth with that. Uh, and plus, the other thing is the size is holding him back. He's about 5'11", maybe 165 pounds on a good day. And, um, you know, I think that's, you know, with defense getting bigger and bigger in the league, you know, that's, I don't think it's going to hold him back. But, I mean, if you can skate and move the puck, I mean, it, there's going to be a job for you at the next level. Now, how high does he go in terms of the professional hockey ranks? I don't know. But, I mean, again, the skating ability is there. Offensive prowess is there. He, um, you know, makes good breakout passes. I like his all-around offensive game. I mean, he was minus 15 this year, and I know people hate plus minus, but it's it's a not, it's not always a telling stat. Because here's the thing. He played on a team that struggled. You know, is this plus minus di indicative of his play or the team's play? That's what you got to ask yourself. And likewise, his rookie year in the queue, 2012-2013 uh, last year, minus 32. So, you know, not exactly a... Um, you know, defensive stalwart, but at the same time, you can't fault the team struggles on him. And, uh, you know, I don't have the course in front of me, but I, I would definitely reference that. So, it was a pretty highly touted coming out of um, the midget ranks in Quebec. It was the 11th overall pick of the Sea Dogs. And, um, again, I, I think there was a lot to work with there. It's just a matter of putting it all together. And, um, you know, I think St. John's is going to be a better team next year. St. John is going to be a better team. It's There's no S at the end of St. John. Um, and, or or it's, and it's also up north as opposed to, I think it was Bill Lindsay referenced uh, Jonathan Huberto playing down in St. John's, which, you know, unless they have a, a junior hockey team in the Virgin Islands, which I, I would have gone out for, definitely. Um, but going a step further, the team's going to be better next year. They're, they're talking about adding a power forward. Hopefully it's it's not Southeast on Cam Askew. He seems to be happy in Drummondville, but that'd be pretty cool. That'd give me an excuse to go up there. Um, and, you know, they'll have a pretty high pick. And, uh, you know, maybe, you never say never on Jack Eichel. It's about a 1% chance, but, I mean, hey, stranger things have happened. Um, remember, I talked about it the other day in my Minnesota-Colorado piece. Um, Patrick Rowe was pushing really hard for Charlie Coyle, and he ended up in St. John. So you never know. If a uh, New England kid can turn down a legend like Patty Roy, it could happen. But back to LeBlanc, again, worth taking a flyer on in the mid to late rounds. I like his offensive upside. Um, there's plenty to work with, and I think with a better team in front of him next year or around him. Um, I've been talking about goalies so much lately that that's distorted. I think uh, he could put up a point again, you know, and really be an effective puck mover and have a lot of GMs and hockey people saying, why didn't we draft him higher? It's like, well, you know, you got to look at the whole picture. And, um, you know, hopefully... The team's better next year, so Jamie and the uh, Station Nation get more stuff to talk about, more positive, more positivity to discuss as opposed to the last two years. But they had a great run for two, three years there, so I guess the, the peaks and valleys of the Quebec Major Junior League are um, personified by the St. John Sea Dogs team. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of The Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Olivier LeBlanc of the St. John Sea Dogs. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.